research and analysis and to strategize your SEO campaign. Um, to start off with, do, do you have a personal website or a business website? Does everybody, yeah, show of hands, pretty much, quite a few people. So just a quick intro to the Web Bureau. I don't know how many of you have heard of the Web Bureau before. Yeah, show of hands, we have. Okay, well, we specialize in three areas, so web design, so it's getting that website, that we do. web development, which is all about functionality, making sure it works, if you're working online, you're paying online, all of those features, and then ourselves and the digital marketing team look at driving traffic to your website. So that was just SEO was pretty much a marketing tactic. So in the past, a lot of people pretty much thought, you've got the website, it goes up there, and it's just going to work. But the reality is, it's not going to work here on its own, your one website among millions. So you actually have to build brand awareness online just in the same way that we do offline. Uh, we also do some training and metric as well, working with sure skills at the moment and delivering a digital marketing diploma, um, really to help educate people on all the different marketing tactics and web design tactics. Starting off, what is SEO? As I said, SEO is very much about driving traffic to your website. There's a lot of different elements that you've kind of covered in that in the diagram. It's about marketing. People on site will know your blog is a very important part of SEO. Your coding, your keywords, all the links that you build, the actual design. There's so many different factors that all affect SEO. And the reason why SEO is so important is because you're targeting a mass market people who are actually looking for it, which is where it differs slightly from traditional marketing. I mean, so people type in keywords, they are looking for information, product or service. So you should position yourself to meet that need. Thank you very much. I should also know yeah, people are very online. online. Mm -hmm. yes, so this is very much right now, so people don't yeah, go for priority on page one, page two, page one, page research and analysis and the strategy. Just a few stats, we kind of thrown in here to set the scene as well. The reality is how all of these search engines, 2.7 million visits to search engines in December 2012, shows that there's a lot of people out there searching online. Most people use Google, kind of show of hands, then we use kind of thing other than Google, but then we do search online. Okay, we we specialise in yeah. sort of three areas, sort of web design, so it's getting that website that looks good, web development, which is all the professional and which is the work that you're working online again, on all the things using Google, and then so all the tools that we are going to reference are actually our Google tools. So people search online, people buy online, and more and more people are landing on e-commerce websites. Does anybody have an e-commerce website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's not going to work your, on its own, it's your one online. website among millions. So you actually have to build brand awareness online, just in the same way. Again, as I said, when I search it, don't look far. <coughs> and we also do some training and mentoring as well. And the reality is that it's your skills at the moment in delivering a digital marketing diploma. Um, really to help educate people on all the different marketing tactics. touching too much on social media, I know it's been covered in some of the other sessions. But social media is also now quite a big part of SEO. To start off, what is SEO? What is SEO? As I said, SEO is very much about driving traffic to your website. The first two There's a lot of different elements that you can cover in the diagram. It's about marketing. People on site will know yeah. your blog oh, is a very important yeah, part of SEO. Good web your coding, your keywords, all the links that you build. They actually design and so many different factors that all affect SEO. Really, the web masters is an interface. And the reason why SEO is so important is because you're targeting a mass lot of people who are actually looking for you, which is where it differs slightly from traditional marketing websites. I mean, the people who type in here, they are looking for information for the rest of those. As you also know, people are very much when they're on the SEO. It's very much about getting them to the top of the listings. So people don't go very often beyond page one, page two. So I do really want to be on the Google. It helps to get the top of the list. We're in here to set the scene as well. The reality is we all use search engines. 2.7 billion visits to search engines in December 2012. It shows that there's a lot of people out there searching online. Um, and most people have use Google. Um, can I be sure of hands? Does anybody have anything to think about Google? Google but then you can then actively say which market you're targeting you as your primary market. Thing. So I know what I'm going to be targeting the site as well. 
because pretty much everybody else yes. went to reflect the stats so pretty much as it kind of says on the Google screen there search Google wants Google. to help so a lot of the tools that we are going to say are actually are you want to be the Google tools Google wants to um, so people so search online people buy online and more and more serve the best of all these generic users does anybody have any comments with that? provide the best information and as well to the or a site that you book online or something this is just a really quick screenshot of where Pastor's dashboard Again, as I've said already, searches don't look far. And that's one of the best. Make sure that the Google and the reality is that most people your go page. beyond page one. And we've, we've not touching too much on social, social media because I know it's been covered in some of the other sessions. But social media is also now quite a big part of SEO and your content that you use to drive that traffic. So the first tool we're going to talk about is Google Webmasters. Is anybody actively using Google Webmasters tools? It's just basically to test the performance of your website. Google Webmasters is a great tool if you are a website owner or a marketer to try and keep handy on how healthy your website is. Really, the webmasters is an interface that can show you There's just no what errors there are. If you're adding content, a lot of time there is broken links. The Google webmasters is a great tool for just keeping track of the health of your website. The flags of any errors, which is a call to action that you need to start addressing those. And you can get quite quick wins from SEO if you're keeping track of what errors there are. Um, you can verify your site ownership, so that you own the site. You can keep to submit your site map. And submitting your site map to Google is quite important. Um, it takes regularly making sure that Google's aware of what new information is. Um, it helps to identify broken links yeah, and internal and external um, links in your site, well and also any crawlers. And a, a, the, the last one is quite a, a good one because you can actually manage your geographic yeah, targeting through Google, Google analysis. Plenty of people maybe have a .co.uk or .com site, but within it, you can actually say which market you're targeting as your primary market. So I know a lot of people will be targeting the market as well. As it kind of says on the Google screen there, Google wants to help you as a website owner. You want to be on your web and Google wants to help Google wants to serve the best results to their users. So that's what they want to provide the best information to the most relevant to your site. Then you tend to use those sites a lot more. And this is just a really quick screenshot of the webmasters dashboard. And one of the things it shows you there is the URL submitted and that's one that it got. Make sure Google is indexed. The Google Keyword Tool is one that we find very, very useful. I mean, for setting the same for any SEO campaign. I'm just going to touch on the other things. Well, we will find with a lot of businesses, if you're, particularly if you're maybe an engineer or a technical type business, people within the business tend to use a lot of technical jargon. So the advantage of the Keyword Tool is it can very quickly show you what people are searching for against what you maybe think your users are searching for. And quite often it can be quite different. The keyword tool will give you um, the average number of searches for a set of keywords each month. So you know if there's two or three hundred a month, that's maybe a good search word to target, but if there's less than ten, it's not maybe worth chasing. Uh, it removes guesswork, is what really just said, and eliminates a lot of the jargon. Uh, we would use it quite often as well to help form themes for the content. A big, big part of SEO beyond the, the efficiency of your site is the content that you use next to drive the traffic back. Um, once you have a set of keywords, it'll bring up a lot of different suggestions as to what other keywords are similar and what might be relevant for your businesses. Quite often you can pick up some very good things to write article content on. And you can use keyword tool for any country you're talking, so you can check the UK, you can check Ireland, you can check any yeah, What's really useful with the analytics is you can compare over time. And it's free. You can well, look at the same oh, period last year. To, you can look at the month, but that's what you want to have seen. And the keyword tool. Um, your we've got time to look at the year below, at the exact volume of searches, and see how much you're getting in the year of cost. Where the other time is a few other days in each channel. And we'll see what that marketing is working for you, which is really the girls, and see are they coming from social media sites, what's your top referring sites, and that has a big impact on what you start to do. Once you start to see what is working best, what is working to drive the most visitors to your site, then you tend to use those sites a lot more. It's just a huge wealth of information in Google. And it just gets a bit more precise because 
um, it brings up like hot topics and um, the Google keyword tool yeah, is one that we find very very useful. I mean, it's been percent the same for any SEO um, campaign. One thing you will um, find with a lot of businesses, if you're, if you're, particularly if you're a marketing an engineer and a more technical type business, people within the business tend to use a lot of technical jargon. So the advantage of the keyword tool is it can very quickly show you what people are searching for against what you maybe think your users are searching for. And quite often it can be quite different. Um, the keyword tool will give you the average number of searches for a set of keywords each month. So one example, example of we find if you're thinking over the month, that's maybe a good search for the target, but if you're less than 10, it's not going to be worth the case. Um, it removes the guesswork, as we've already just said, and eliminates a lot of jargon. Uh, we would use it quite often as well to help inform things for the content. A big, big part of the tool beyond the, the efficiency of your site is the content that you can use next to the drive and travel back. So it's you have a set of keywords, it'll bring up a lot of different suggestions over here. as to what other keywords are similar and what might be relevant for your businesses. Quite often you can pick up yeah, some very good themes that, to write article content on. And you can use the keyword tool for any country you're targeting, so you can check the UK, you can check Ireland, you can check any different country. It's free. What we have said said the world, these two are free web and a keyword tool. That's one thing um, There's a few bits highlighted just to hear, and we are going to look quite a lot at the exact volume of searches, which is quite a good indicator of what's the bare minimum number of searches per month for these terms. And we also again run a set we set the keyword tool to which country to be um, it will also give you for links. the cost per click links as well. Links is a big part of SEO. SEO. Google will assess the authority of your site based on links. Um, would, would be typical in the past that links, people might have bought a lot of links, a lot of family links. Google's been cracking down on that a lot over the last few years. What they want to see is that there's good quality links coming from relevant sites. Um, the, the links that will show you all the internal links in your site, all the links that are coming externally into your site and you can also check on what your career competitors links are coming from which is a really useful resource so you can actually download a lot of this data uh, into an excel spreadsheet and keep track of it on a regular basis so you can see if somebody's trying to hire than you what is it maybe that they are doing or what sites it works quite well you're not using set of things you will um, find there, is, there is a chart that runs at store and it's free it's to use two to three times a day one um, example that we find it quite um, useful for us uh, we work with a guy who distributes check on handles but it's one time we picked up on the Google Trends quite a while ago as a result of the price and the social type as well it was a new range called man companies that they were doing and it was something that was an American brand these rising search which have been happening in America six months previous and only and recently now and we started to see that the range has been in the UK. Of, so it's quite good for preempting what's happening over here. It looks like what's called Page Authority, which is the page authority, a scoring system for your home page, which is between not and 100. It also looks at the domain authority as a whole, your site as a whole, which will always be typically lower than the home page authority. How many links are coming in, how many links or within the site itself, and it gives you quite a good indication when you, when you compare from one company to another, how strong you are compared to one here in Canada, which is difficult to advance in terms of there's not always thousands of links, so and you have 10 or 20 million, you kind of realise when you've got a lot more work to do. The advantage of using a lot of these different tools in conjunction with each other is that a lot of the functionality does overlap, and it's good to actually check on both, so you have a really robust set of data. Quite techy, but it's well worth doing. Um, it's like a large yeah. cycle. Open Explorer is a really useful tool, which refers to itself as a search and for, for links. Links is a big part of well, SEO. Um, Google will assess the authority of your site um, based on links. We've um, um, been typical in the past that like links, people might have bought a lot of links, a lot of spammy links. Google has been cracking down on a lot over the last few years. What they want to see is that there's good quality links coming from relevant. And, um, it just gives lots of um, the, and the links that'll show you all the internal links in your site, all the links that are coming yeah. externally in your site. And if you're doing SEO, you will know the title tags and the description. So you can actually download a lot of this data 
and I write an Excel spreadsheet. What you do, I keep track of it on a regular basis. Google, so you can see if somebody's ranking higher than you, what is it maybe that they're doing or what sites they're using that you're not using. As well. um, there, is, there is a shortage of the consent store which uh, is to eight times a day. After that, it's a good year. It's a monthly charge. But it's a very, very useful um, it also has brought in the uh, social package as well, so it also records how many Facebook likes and shares, Google Plus likes and shares, which is quite great if you flag those up and work with your web designer and your web developer. And that's just that there will be a couple of wins and that's what I see you discussing the website. Yeah, it's quite great. 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 Yeah, Make sure it's system for your homepage, which I'll take your own hundreds. It also looks at the domain, domain authority as a whole, your site as a whole, which will always be lower than the homepage authority. How many links are coming in, how many links are within the site itself, and it gives you quite a good indication yeah, when you compare from one company to another how strong you are compared to one of your competitors. It's usually really thousands and thousands of links, and you have ten or twenty within you, and you have a lot more work to do. Try and catch up with that company and don't overtake them. So, it more or less saves a lot of time, and you can compare your competitor sites as well a bit. And yeah, it's just the time, time saver to It's quite useful even just at the start of an SEO campaign, just to see where you start your benchmarks, to see where you stand at the minute. You're not in the top 100. You realise you've probably got quite a bit of work to do, but maybe for some of your keywords, you are already in 20s, 30s. So that gives you a good indicator of which ones maybe you should even focus your efforts on. If you're doing well, to keep pushing that up and get them into the top 10. There's lots and lots of different tools. This is just one example of rank strategies. There's some free ones online that will let you track a few things per day as well. But it's, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on your rankings. But not to use that in isolation. Um, you should also look at your analytics as well. Have and keep track of which any keywords are doing as well. You will know that your title tags, position. meta descriptions, so things um, are very important. Keep track of the referrals that are coming. Which help Google <coughs> to recognize what and you're doing. Do. It's all about making it easier for Google to call your site to know what yeah, you're doing. Um, the top top or one that is quite important as well. Sometimes there's on your home page, you might have two or three URLs that actually get um, you to your home page. So sure. you <laughs> your normal link. Sometimes it's a forward slash index or something like that. Keep, it's good to keep ideally, that dilutes the rate of your home page. So ideally, you should only have one link referenced as a P1 so that the rate of the list. Um, yeah, that's quite useful. Yeah, it's 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 quite useful
um, people would love to watch video. You can get a very good insight into a business from a 30 second video. People prefer that sometimes rather than reading frames of text. So a lot of these are just content channels that we use um, to help. So it's quite useful just for tracking on your content to I wish the guy would set one up every evening for just our... Um, just touching this one, I know Kathy is going to talk about this one later on, but the visual content is very, very important. A lot of the article sites, there's a delay, so I think there's something to be approved. A week later, I'm going to be saying it's actually a very useful content. I'm sure you've all seen loads of these kind of memes and cartoon kind of things on Facebook lately. A lot of businesses are starting to use those, and there's been predictions it's going to be quite big in 2013. Um, photos, videos, and visual rotating. Infographics is another one. Infographics is a really, really good one for telling the story using an image. Yeah, we've touched on this one already. The social signals, Open Site Explorer also covers the social signals quite well. So it enables you to compare how well you're ranking on the social media compared to the competitors that you want to beat in search engine rankings. And I think this just highlights the importance of social signals because obviously like very recently, uh, this tool was just purely SEO, and now I've got it for the support, to follow the support, you would like to share. Yeah, it's very much these days about getting engagement. Google wants to see that other people yeah, rate you as a business. So it's not just about putting content up there, they want to see that you're on a social media channel. Like in your comments, share the information. Really good articles every day. Website blog, website comments, so quickly. It's quite hard to keep on top of it. That shows the same as something in your browser. Give you a quick search. Yeah, that's really good. 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 Any questions? Those are just a few different channels again. You can go back to the slides where you um, yeah, this, 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 we used to have a lot of um, guest yeah, blogging, sure. um, um, a lot of image sharing, video marketing. We haven't gone into any real depth in these because I know they're being covered by a lot of the other speakers today, but a lot of a lot of the content that you're publishing online will have an uh, impact on your SEO. So video works very well because you get it on YouTube and people like, love to watch video. You can get a very good insight into a business from a 30 scroll. second video. Actually, people prefer that it sometimes rather than read real text. Like oh, yeah. 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 All of these are just content channels that we use to, to help you get an SEO. I catch one of these and we will catch up on the paper and then drawing your diagram. Um, we're just touching this one, and I know Catherine is going to talk about this one later on, but visual content is that's yeah, very, very, very important. People the 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 do memes. like something that they can get a, a, a picture a, of quite quickly without having to do so I'm sure you've all seen those of these kind of memes and cartoon candidates on Facebook lately. A lot of businesses are starting to use those, and there's been predictions it's going to be quite big in 2013. Um, photos, videos, and visuals. Infographics is another one. Infographics is a really, really good one for telling the story using an image. Again, we've we touched on this one already. The social signals, Open Site Explorer also covers the social signals quite well. So it enables you to compare how well you're ranking on the social media compared to the competitors that you want to be in search engine rankings. Thank you, yeah. Um, it's normally just as Google will be indexed the site, uh, some of the old content will drop off. It doesn't happen immediately, but over time, some of the pages that no, no longer exist will drop off over time as the new stuff gets indexed. We've just listed some good resources um, for, for keeping up to date with SEO. Um, search engine and SEO boss are two really great resources, really good articles every day. I mean, SEO changes so quickly. It's quite hard to go on top of that. You're sort of telling Google that this is where we stand now, this is our mix of products. And that's pretty much us. Is there any, any questions?